So me, me, peeps, what's up? Well, it's me, John D. Villar. We're talking about this super fight between Antonio Margarito and Manny Pacquiao, where Manny Pacquiao won a unanimous decision. What, what was in a 12-round war where both fighters were hurt. Manny Pacquiao admitted being hurt. It was an excellent fight. It went the distance. It frankly was one of Manny Pacquiao's most exciting fights. It was extremely competitive. And we've asked the questions about what he does next. We've given the reaction to the Philippines fans, but now, we're asking, what about the Tijuana Tornado? He looked really, really good. He says uh, Cesar Chavez is one of his, um, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez is one of his uh, uh, idols. He fought like him tonight. He showed incredible guts and determination. He showed great power. Uh, the whole controversy with his hands wraps, that's gone. He shows that he's live and he's real. And I think his stock goes up now. And people are really excited about Antonio Margarito. Well, who do you think he fights next? A rematch between Paul Williams? Would you want to see that? What weight would you want to see that up? Because Paul Williams has, has gone up and down in weight and can do that as well. What about a a fight between him and Kelly Pavlik. Would that be something you'd want to see at middleweight or junior middleweight? Because that could happen as well. Or how about a rematch against Mosley? Mosley, I think, is shot and can't pull the trigger. There's a lot of people that would want to see that fight again. And then there's always Miguel Cotto and Zab Judah. All these names are in the mix. Or Floyd Mayweather. He's ducking everybody. How, how much did this fight help uh, it, it rehabilitate and put Antonio Margarito back on the map and who do you want to see him fight next? Freddie Roach was proven wrong. Antonio showed the heart of a champion and we want to know who you think he should fight next. Tell me that. Speak on it now. Comments below. Subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal. You're watching the conservative new media boxing report.